Today's test subject is going to be this battery bank. I'm doing something a little different. I do a lot of review videos, as you know, if you subscribe to my channel. But now I want to know what's inside this thing. I've got several of these battery banks um, of the cheaper brand. Um, this one in particular is a Plochi. Plochi, Plochi. It's 24,000 milliamps. I've used it for several days now, and it is a good backup battery. I mean, it works well. But the main thing I want to figure out is what kind of power you can get out of this solar panel, because I know it's not much. And I want to settle this once and for all about that. And then I just want to see what's inside this thing. Uh, it, it seems to be shaped sort of like an oval, I guess. So that would lead me to believe that this is a, a bank of several 18650 batteries of a certain uh, milliamp value. So if you have any idea of what's inside this thing, go ahead and post your guess in the comments below and let me know. And we're going to take it apart and find out. about in. I'll be careful to not mess up anything. As you can see, we have the main power board with the USB connectors and the charging ports. And then, as I guessed before, it's a bank of 18650 batteries. There are eight batteries, and it says that they are 7.4 watt hours, I'm guessing, uh, 3.7 volt batteries. And they're all soldered together. Seem to be fairly secure in here. Um, what I'm concerned about the most, and the whole reason I made this video, see if I can adjust some light real quick. There we go. Is these little wires right here, what's coming off of that solar panel. So, I'll figure out the best way to prop this up. Put my screwdriver, oh here we go, there's another positive and negative terminal. You probably can't see, but it's right there on the other side of the the underside of the solar panel. So I want to see what this solar panel is putting out, if anything. Now I know that this is not the sun, so uh, you know it's going to be hard to actually test it at this point because there's no sunlight on it. But anyway, I'll do my best. And let's just touch these little connections and see what we can come up with. Barely showing one volt. Hmm. All right. I mean, that doesn't seem all that bad considering that it's nearly in the dark. I do wonder, since it's connected on the other end and not on this end, I wonder if it would make any difference if you connected all of these. You know, I don't, I don't understand why it's only connected on one end unless it is just set up to have an outlet on both sides. I'll connect these and see what the multimeter says now. It's showing one volt here as well. So maybe it's the same outlet. Maybe it's a single outlet of energy. Three volts. 
Now this battery bank is charged. Let's see if I can adjust the light to where you can see it a little better. Not really. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we're getting three volts anyway. Um, and it could very well be 3.7, I guess, because my multimeter is set up for a lot more voltage than this. Okay, now that we've checked that, let's check the voltage coming off the entire battery bank itself and see what we're getting. So your standard wall adapter is going to be 5 volts. Let's see where this is coming off. I guess I could go to where they're going in right there. I'll make this connection right here at the actual power inputs. You have to forgive me for all my fumbling with this. It's not the easiest thing to work with. Yeah, so three volts. Interesting. I would have expected it to be more. Yeah. Three volts. So it's probably going to be 3.7 or so. Um, and obviously all the batteries are wired together, so we should get the full capacity of these. Now I need to do the math. 7.4 watt hours. It's going to come out to how many milliamps? Okay. So if we multiply that by 8, then we'll get yeah, okay. So, I guess that's where we stand, and that's the final verdict on this. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to check out while we're in here. I'll remove my multimeter from the table. So I have some room to work. Let's take a little close-up look at this. While we're in here. These are the 18650 cells that they're using. I don't know if you know anything about 18650s. I use them in flashlights and things of that sort. So they're a pretty handy battery to have at this point. There is some some type of um, text on here, I guess. 1.45.5 times 66, star 66. I don't know what that denotes. Uh, if you're an electrical engineer, maybe you can shed a little light on this situation. I'd love to have your opinion. Um, it seems like you can easily pull these little pins back and detach the entire solar panel itself. And then on the USB ports themselves, it says 885 new 2017 9 14. I guess that's the assembly date. September 14th, 2017. And it is currently November 2nd. So this unit has not been together very long. It doesn't look like an extremely complicated piece of equipment. And this is going to be our power button right here. You can see the little tiny push button, which is right here. So, yeah. It's a fairly simple machine. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick this back together. And there you have it. No real harm done, and it still works. So consider that a success. If you missed the original chance to comment, go ahead and comment below on what you think I should open up next so we can figure out how it works. Thanks for watching.